Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review on these YZL Sports hand grippers that I got off Amazon. And then I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on this brand new set that I haven't opened. That's right here. So if you guys are interested, just stick around to the end of the video and I'll give out details on how you guys can possibly win that. I'm going to start off by opening them so you guys can see how the package comes. So when you open it, all of the grippers, they come inside packaged in this bubble wrap right here. I've been using these for a week. I just put them back in the bubble wrap so you guys can see how they come. But all the grippers are in there and they range from 50 pounds to 300 pounds. So it doesn't really matter where your strength is at. You can start off and be able to progress. So I'm going to take off the bubble wrap from all of them while I keep talking about some of the features of these. So these grippers, they're all black as opposed to other brands that have the colorful handles. And uh, I think they also make a set that's silver. But because I've used their grippers before and I had the black ones, I decided to just go with what I already knew was good. So if you guys want, there is an option for silver ones, sort of like how Captain's of Crush has their silver. But I just went with the black, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing. The grippers are pretty good. Their spread is actually a little bit smaller than the Captain's of Crush. If you have smaller hands, that'd be better. So if you're a kid or if you're just somebody who has like small hands, I think these would probably be better for you starting off than the Captains of Crush because these are really wide and then these also cost a lot of money. So one of these grippers is $25 plus shipping depending where you get it from. And for these grippers, you can buy a single one for like $10 I believe or you can get this whole set that I got for $46 on Amazon at the time of making this video. And I've had them before. I've had this one for about six months. As you can see, it's all white full of chalk and the bottom is different compared to the new one, so you can see now they include their brand. But I've had it, I've carried it around with me, I've dropped it a couple times, it's been in my pocket and it's still good. There's a coating on the outside of the spring, which is like painted, so it won't rust or like start making noise. So you can see like if I do this with this one, and if I do the same thing with my Captain's of Crush Gripper, you can sort of hear a squeak. So that doesn't happen with these. Also, the knurling is a little bit different compared to the Captains of Crush. So here I have the 50 pound one, and then this is a Captains of Crush number two. But just to show the knurling, you can see that the YZL Sports Gripper, which is this one right here, the diamonds are a little bit more noticeable than they are in the Captains of Crush Gripper. Also, the handles, this, to me, it seems like it's a little bit skinnier. They're about the same, but I think that it's a little bit smaller. You can see right there, it's like almost nothing. The spread, it's pretty much identical, but in the hands it does feel smaller. So maybe depending on which gripper it is, because the 300 pound gripper that comes in the set, it feels really wide and it feels almost like a number three. So here's the 300 pound gripper that comes in the set. And then here's a number two. And you can see the spread on the number, on the 300 pound gripper is pretty much on par with the Captains of Crush. So this one is really hard, but it also comes with really easy ones that you can use to start warming up or if you're just a kid and you want to be able to progress you start off with the 50 and you do a couple reps with it until you can go and then once you can do that you move on to the 100 and you already have all your grippers right here so you just progress like this you go over to the 150 and you can take this with you anywhere the thing that i like the most about these as opposed to other brands is that they were a lot cheaper so for the whole set like i said it's like 40 bucks so you're able to progress and still get stronger. These aren't gonna be the same quality as like the Captains of Crush Gripper because these, they stay stiff all the way across. These, they will get a little bit easier the more you close them. But I've had my 250 pounds for a long time. And when I compare it to the 250 that came in the set, like there's it's not a huge difference, especially like if I'm going to TNS the gripper like this and I'm gonna go like all the way across, like, I don't really notice a difference where I do notice it is if I do a deep set where it's like in my hand and I, I use both when I train it to work this uh, muscle right here on the side of the hand it's easier but it's not significant what I'd like also is that these grippers are kind of in between the captains of crush numbers so like I said I, I have a 2 and I have a 2.5 and my 250 it falls in between both of those so I, I can TNS the number 2 really easily the 250 is kind of hard and then the 2.5 is really hard for me to just be able to go with one hand and just like straight up across go. So 
these they kind of fall in between the captains of crush numbers so if you guys want to go from like a 2 to a 2.5 and you don't have the strength to and you want to train you could just buy a single 250 pound gripper like this one right here or if you guys want to get the whole set you can do that and then just every time you get a new captains of crush you work with these in between and that's an option as well other than that there's not much that you can really say about the grippers i mean i can do another comparison with like the 2.5 and the 250 right here so you guys can see the size of the spring they're pretty much identical so here's a number three and then here's a number 2.5 so i'll compare the 2.5 with their 250 so you can see the 2.5 and the 250 and the springs are pretty much identical so they're about the same size the same spread it's just these they have a coating on the spring and the captains of crush uh, grippers are raw so they'll like make a squeak the 2.5 isn't making a noise right now but normally it does i think it's just because of chalk it's not also i really like that now i'm able to have warm-up grippers because with the Captains of Crush, I'm not able to buy all the grippers because they're $25 a piece. So I just get the heavier ones that I want to get stronger in. And I don't really have like an actual warm-up gripper. I normally just use a 2.5 and I'll set it like in my hand and then I'll just do like a bunch of reps with it. So I'll deep set it like this and then I'll just do a bunch of reps like this for warm-up. But now I can actually warm up my TNS set, which is just a one hand set. So I can warm up with like the 100 pounds. And then I can move up to the 150 and the 200 just for a, a warm up. And now you might be wondering what's even the point of all these grippers. So mainly the grippers, they're to help you gain a little bit more like muscle like in your forearm. So whenever you use them, you're working all this part of your forearm right here. You're working a little bit here if you're doing holds with the heavy gripper. So like I'll just use a 200 right now because I'm kind of tired or here's a 150. So whenever you do this and then you hold it, all this right here is getting worked and you can see even my veins start popping out. So I'm not very vascular anymore. I've been trying to gain weight, but with the grippers, it's helped my veins come out a lot again, even if I'm a higher weight. So I don't know how easy they are to see on the camera. But yeah, I've noticed my veins pop out a lot more since I've been using the grippers. Also, I have gained some size in my forearms. So they used to be about 14 inches around, like from here to like this and now they're about 14 and a half on this one and this one it was always a little bit like smaller mainly because i always arm wrestle using my right but it's uh it's pretty much on par with well i can't do it it's pretty much on par now with that so they help me bring up the imbalance they're also good if you have like a like a carpal tunnel problem or something where like it hurts to grip and you want to be able to progressively go over i would say talk to your doctor first before you do this but these are light enough to where like it shouldn't be hurting anything. like you could even close this with like just two fingers like if you wanted to train other stuff so i know some people they like to work their thumb their thumb muscle that's right here and they'll put them like this and then they'll like squeeze it like that to try to work their thumb muscle so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this and the best part is that you can just take it with you in your pocket or in your backpack or something and it's pretty cool whenever you can close like a really heavy gripper and then you give it to somebody to try and they just they can't close it so i have a couple videos of uh, my family members trying it they're all different ages so you guys get to see like where you might be in there and uh yeah it was just some fun at the park now would i recommend that you guys get these grippers i would say yes just because for the price I mean, there's nothing really that can go wrong. You're buying them on Amazon, which means that you also have their return policy. They come with a three-year warranty. According to um, their listing on Amazon, it says that they have a three-year warranty. I haven't had any problems like with the grippers failing, and I haven't seen anybody else like have issues with them either. There's not many like um, reviews on the listing for these. There's a couple for the singular grippers, but I haven't read them. So if you guys have any problems, you should be able to like resolve them like fairly easily like i said i've had this one for like half a year already and it's still still good there's nothing wrong with it and then there's also the benefit with using the grippers of having like a stronger grip so if somebody goes to like shake your hand or something you'll have like just a firmer handshake you know if you're like 14 15 i know when i was like that age i always wanted a strong grip 
and now with these like when i got them i started off with the 250 but i couldn't even budget past this i have a video on my youtube shorts where i close it all the way but when i got it i i couldn't even move it past that just, and now i can close this with just one hand so it's possible to move up through the grippers and get a stronger handshake even my left hand like i think i can close the 200 pound gripper with it possibly so here's a 200 and i just think that in general it's something good to have it works out your forearms which is like a muscle that most people see you can see your biceps and stuff whenever you're wearing a t-shirt but your forearms anytime that you're doing anything with your hands like that's what people are going to be noticing so i think that for that and the price as opposed to other grippers like if you just want to get into the hobby and try it out and you don't want to spend 25 dollars for one gripper or you don't want to spend like a hundred dollars for a whole set like 50 bucks for a set i think it's worth it and i'm doing a giveaway too so <clears throat> excuse me if you guys want to win this right here i'm gonna do the giveaway in like i'd say a week that way it's somewhat quick and you can get them probably uh before school has to start again and stuff so this one is brand new you can see it's it's not open and if you guys want to win this just uh subscribe leave a like and then leave a comment saying uh, if you have grippers already which gripper you can close and if you don't have any grippers just say why you want the gripper because i i like to go through them and just read like what you guys have to say but the winner will be picked at random through the comments so once everybody's like entries like are in where you guys leave your comment and stuff and you guys are subscribed then i'll make sure to um just go through and either do a random number generator or something of that sort just to make it fair for everyone and now that youtube has uh, how many comments you leave like i can make sure that nobody leaves like multiple comments or something has a higher chance than someone else so i'll try to make it as fair as possible and then uh, once the winner is chosen i'll write you guys an email or something i'll contact you like on the comments and i'll say oh hey you won or i'll make a separate video just saying who won and for you to contact me and yeah now i'll show those videos that i was talking about with my family closing one so we're at the park i have the yzl sports there's a 50 and here's my cousin holder you're 10 you're 10 you're 11 okay so he's 11 he still has small hands and this how far he gets on the 50 go go Oh, all right. He almost got it, but he has small hands, so he's still in like what? Middle elementary? Yeah. Yeah, he's still in elementary. Here's a 50. All right, and then here's my friend. He trains grippers, and he can close the CLC number two. So, here's a 50. No, I yeah, quit playing. Okay. So here's a 50. That's pretty easy. Next is a 150. Okay. Pretty easy. I mean the 150. That was the 100. Sorry. Now is the 150. And if you need chalk, I got some in there. Okay, that's 150. Just in case, bro. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. All right, next is the 200. All right, that's the 200. You're pretty easy. Oh, okay. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. The 250 is next, bro. Easy? <laughs> yeah, he's closed this one before. The same one that I had in my video, he's closed it before. Let's see if he can do it right now because we were just training on the number two. Oh. I, no, no. Oh, you can't get it right now. All right, so this is a 250, the Wiseel Sports, and here's a 300. So I'm gonna compare the 300 to the number three real quick. So here's the number three, and here it is next to the the 300. And honestly, they're really similar. The handles are basically the same size. The spread. It's basically the same. The three's maybe just a tiny bit less, actually. But yeah. My other cousin, he's 17. We're gonna start him off with the 50. Let's see if we can close it. Okay, he got that one pretty good. Here's a 100. Okay. Here's a 150. He can close that one, and now let's see a 200. He doesn't train grippers, by the way, so I'm gonna give him some chalk. Okay. Right. And then here's a 200. Let's see, let's see. Did it close? All right, he got it. Oh, no, I didn't get it. He didn't get it? Right. That looked close. All right, now I'm gonna go to my other cousin and give it a try. Other cousin, he's also 17, and he's gonna give it a try as well. So this is a 50. Go. All right, so he can close down pretty easy. Is a 100. 
All right, here we put some chalk on her pick. Are you ready? And this is a 100. Set it a little bit further in your hand, like right there. Ready? Go. All right, so you got it. So you got the what is that? The 100. So next is the 150. You want to put some more chalk on or no? Yeah. All right. And then here's the 150. So set it like further in your hand, like this. And then do, use your other hand to help at first, like I told you, so that way you can fit it because you have smaller hands. Okay. So he stopped at the 150. So, so far, nobody's gotten to close to 250. My uncle, he's 44 and he works with his hands all day. So here's a 50. All right, he got it easy. Next is a 100. All right, he got it easy. 150. Easy. All right, the 200. All right, so he got, he got some chalk. Here's the 200. Oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> 200. All right, so now it's my turn. So here we are. This is a 50. All right. Easy. 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 This is a 150. All right, now I'm gonna try the 200. So this is a 200 right here. All right, I'm gonna try the 250. <laughs> but I tried the three yesterday, so my hand's weaker. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to close it. Normally I can close the 250, so we'll see. There it is. <sighs> okay. And the 300, I don't think I'm gonna be able to close it right now. I was just training with the number three the other day. I'm gonna, I'll try it in a deep set. I can't train it, I can't do a TNS. Okay, so here's a 300. Oh, I can't do it right now, I can't even set it. Let me see, I'll try it one more time, one more time. I can't get it. No. No. All right, the 300 is hard, honestly. It's, it might be the same as the number three, to be honest. All right, that's it. Ooh.